right. So now I'm ready to put my machine to work. Um, I'm going to use these two files for my repositional. When I did it in Sew Up Pro, it saved it in P1, um, excuse me, P1 and P2. So I know it's those two files that I'm working on. And you got to think a little bit and um, keep track of what you're doing, but this is how I do it, so bear with me. I'm going to start on the top. Okay, now it's going to show me 15 steps. I went ahead and printed all of them. I, ne I never print them. I always just go to the computer because I'm cheap like that and don't want to waste paper. But I wanted to know to be able to be prepared for you guys to hopefully save time. But here's the, the first step. So that's good to go. So I'm going to put this back down. Hmm? Mm -mm. Alright, so then on the repositional hoop, I'm going to put it in the second position just to test my center spot. Okay, so it's in the second notch. See that? One, two, three, four. I'm calling this the second notch. And then if you'll notice, I don't know if you can see, it's right, there's my, there's my line, there's my dot. If it's not right, you might want to rehoop it because normally I would say just kind of move your, um, you know, use your layout button and move it to where you, it'll be centered. But that's going to be hard because we're going to be switching back and forth between two files. And I guarantee you, you'll forget to move it back. If you do that, you can always save it and then, you know, go that way. But I, that just scares me, so I never do that. Um, all right, the last kind of soluble stabilizer is the water soluble stabilizer. And I use my template and I cut out the four. So I'm going to just line it up, slide it in there, get my hoop to the top position. Because that's my where we're going to start. I just kind of get this stabilizer in here where I think it's going to go because I know my design is not going to go any higher than the collar. Alright, so then I'm going to kind of go back and forth with you. The first step is the placement. I already loaded red because that's going to be the first real step. So, put you down. Hope you can see. I usually stop it and trim as I go once it gets a little bit, once I know for sure it's in the fabric. Um, there. And all I'm doing is just kind of smoothing that water soluble down. I hate it when it puckers. Now you notice it did just the top part of the four. So what I'm going to do, I really wish there's a way to get the lighting not in there. All right, you see it did the top part of the number four. So what I'm going to do is come here. See, do you want to delete it? Well, yep. And it'll reset it. I'm going to pick the bottom four, and you'll see that's the top placement. Now watch what happens. Do its first little stitch. Oh, yeah, this is a good lesson. Look, I didn't move my hoop. So I'm going to cut it. Totally blame you all for that. <laughs> Distracted me. I'm going to move it into the third position. Luckily, I caught it, so it'll be real easy to rip those stitches out. I'm just going to reset it, pretend I did it right, choose the bottom four again. Now, let's try again. And there it is. Now it's doing the bottom part of the four. It 
just jump back and forth. That's why I like to trim as I go. So that's my four pattern that I've got there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the machine. I guess y'all can come along for this part. I like to go ahead and trim again all those little jumps, which I, I caused them because it's the way I did it in Sew Up Pro. This is the way I do it. All right, now I'm going to have to rip those eight stitches out, but it should, shouldn't be a problem, thankfully. The caterpillar will be up there, so it should be okay. All right, so the next step is the tack down. So I'm going to put my red, put it back in the position it was, third, third, third. Okay. Now I made a big mistake. I did the water soluble first. See, look at that. I'm trying to be all ready, and I messed it up. Um, which is no big deal, just wasted soluble. Just tear it out. I'm going to cut me another piece. There. I don't usually do water soluble stabilizer for that first part. Um, again, I'm trying to just show y'all how I do it, and I'm not thinking, I guess. Alright. So, ready for the fabric. This next step is going to be the tack down. So I'm going to slide it up. Thankfully it's a solid red. Go to the other side. And I smooth it down. I raise it up and peek and make sure it's completely covered. On all sides. Okay. Now on my screen you'll notice it said step two, so that's going to be the tack down. I usually put my fingers just kind of on the edge and make sure it doesn't shift until it gets started. Kind of smooth it out. Before I trim, I'm going to take it out so I don't get distracted. And I'm going to go ahead and move it back into the first position because that's the next one we're going to. And I come down and I'm going to trim those little jumps. No other reason other than they bother me. It's hard to see because it's red on red, but here is my four. And now I'm going to go back over here. I was going to say, do you want to delete it? Yep, I do. And you'll hear the machine. It went back into the starting position. Good time to check your, your notch. I'm in my first position, first position. So then I go back, hit one. Now you'll notice this button right here, adjust. And this middle button that looks like a needle with a minus and a plus, hit it. And then you have four more buttons push up. This one at the top is for the spool to go back a step, a whole thread color, a whole number. This plus is to go forward a whole step. This minus is to go back one stitch. And then the plus is to go forward one stitch. That's important for when you mess up. All right, and I'll show you. You'll see it moved to the last one. 14. Oh, see, I don't want number one. We've already done. It was the placement. This next one 
is the tack down. See? So you just move it and it, you can go through all of them. Don't be afraid to play with those. Alright, so it says number two and it's highlighted. Confirm. Okay, yes, that is where I am. Alright, so you'll see it's going to do. jump in the center and do the triangle in the center. Alright, so now the whole four is done. I'm going to take it out, I'm going to trim around it, and then I'll do the caterpillar. So I'll start it back when I finish all that.